Dear all, I wish I was there with you. Unfortunately, I was all back in Brussels for my other passion in life, the legislative work. But I have a few messages I really wanted to deliver before you discuss the opportunity of scaling up European mobility startups with your amazing panelists. First, I wanted to tell you how much I love the kind of innovation that comes from, come from the tech system. I see how makers care for a better future. We have no choice. Tomorrow, the future of mobility will be low carbon, meaning clean for climate and clean for our health. We need to respect the Paris Agreement. Safer by reducing human factor with automation, more inclusive. We need the lower the part of the part of transport expenses in the life of every European citizen. And solidarity. World is changing. We share more. I know by your work we will end up with a society without private cars. For me, the biggest game changer is for cars. Individual cars will disappear. Private cars is a nonsense. They are no use 1995 for time. City centers should be carless. With the st starting point, we can imagine a large new range of opportunities for e-bike for cargo bike, for trottinet, etc. Fossil fuels will be banned. On the long term, we will create a new energy mix with electric vehicles, hydrogen and gas. And Europe must be the new playground for those innovation. That is why at the European level, I try to act on two different levels. First, making sure that all this innovation found a regulating framework that is not to lose or not to tight. We need to, but without the social damping that comes along with certain platforms such as Uber. We need a collaborative economy that remains collaborative and does not turn into a systematic professional use. We need a delivering system that is not exploiting poor students and freelancers without any social security. It is a difficult way, but please be, be sure that we are going the right direction at the European level and the door of my office is always open if you need to discuss those issues with me. In addition to my work in the European Parliament, I have created the European Startup Prize for Mobility. First prize in Europe with the official support from European Parliament and the European Commission. With a jury of high-level experts, Tanja Kutnev won't disagree with me, she is one of them. So I hope this prize gives Inos visibility and provide the perfect acceleration program to the winner that will help European mobility startups to emerge and become global leaders. Concretely, we offer a deployment and a legal study from BCG to expand in other member states. I, I call it the Erasmus for startups. I want to do it at the European level because we have the potential to have global champion in mobility. Now, it's, it is time for me to stop talking and leave you the floor. Enjoy your panel and don't forget, proud to be a Cezammer.